If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. Go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 346. You need some naysayers out here. And I want to tell you a quick story. Uh, my best naysayer, shout out to Al, because uh, Al Matthews was my was a major naysayer of mine back in the day. Now, I had thanked him for it like 15 years later. But when I went to go do my first gym, uh, Al was the manager of the Tennis and Fitness Club. And it's funny because I had some text messages from people that I used to work with uh, when I posted this tweet the other day. And um, he said to me, and this I'll never forget this too because there was this lady named Suzanne. Suzanne's Body Shop. Shout out Suzanne wherever you're at. Suzanne had opened a personal training studio and it didn't work. And it was right down the street from the tennis and fitness club I worked at. And so he literally said to me, well, Suzanne's like a major trainer. She went out and did it and it didn't work. And I'm thinking, well, I'm not fucking Suzanne. I don't even know what Suzanne's program is. It ain't fucking mine. And the reality was, is that Al thought he was saving me because he thought that I like probably didn't know what I was doing. But the whole point was what Al didn't realize is that he was projecting something onto me because he didn't really know what was inside of me. And the reality was, all I kept thinking was, was you weren't underground with me shoveling coal dreaming about this situation. You weren't completely upset about your family situation. You didn't know that I didn't even think I'd even get a chance to even personal train at this little ass fitness club to even know that it worked. So when there was my opportunity to go build my business and I was only 20 years old, I didn't have nothing to lose. And so the reality was, is that he just didn't know what was really inside me. So a lot of people out here, they project their insecurities on you or what they think they know about you. But motherfucker didn't really know me. He didn't know me. He wasn't with me underground, shoveling coal with my, my fucking back rubbing the ceiling and water dripping on me in fucking 15, 16 hours. He wasn't with me that I was just trying to earn that even position to be able to get a chance to go open my gym. And fuck Suzanne. Suzanne ain't got nothing on me and I knew that. And I didn't even fucking know Suzanne. And so when I was thinking about when he was saying this shit to me, I was just thinking, yes, you know, this is a guy that I really respected to that point, too. I, I liked his style. Actually, when I popped my collar, I got that from him. He always had his collar popped. I liked his style. He was a successful guy. But I think he was wrong when, whenever he said that to me. And when I saw him like 15 years later, I thanked him because it was the extra pop that I needed. I needed that extra pop because the reality was it got real difficult those first two to three years. And I would lean on. I cannot go back to the fucking fitness center and have to ask Al to let me train there again. Like, there's no fucking way I was going to let that happen. And so I needed the naysayer because I could lean on that, not to mention all the other fucking fuel I already had to be a successful dude. Like, I just was not willing to have to fucking go back to that situation because of what he said to me. But when I walked out that day, I'll never forget it. Because I thought, motherfucker, you don't know me. You you don't know what I've been through to get to this point. You think I'm fucking like, I don't know if you think I'm some like fucking soft dude that ain't really about it. But this is me. This is what I do. This is like my DNA. Like it's my passion. It's my purpose. It's what I, it's what I eat, breathe, think, sleep. All of it is fucking lifting weights, helping people and doing this job. And now fast forward, that's 1999. 1998. It's fucking 2023. We're still doing this. So, you know, that whole situation is long past. And like I said, I already had talked to Al about it, but I do think I needed it. I think I needed him to say, Suzanne, who was a local big time trainer, like it didn't work for her because she didn't have her shit together. I think I needed him to tell me, I don't think maybe at 20 you can do this. I think I needed him to really say that to me. As shitty and as, as mad as I was, I needed that to push me over the edge because there was a couple times where it would have been easier to go back to Scarborough East Tennis and Fitness Club and say, you know what, 
I want my situation where I pay $300 a month in rent again. I would have made more money probably, but I stuck it out of my own place and I kept growing it and I kept pushing. And a lot of it was because I wanted to prove Al wrong. So once again, thank you, Al, because I needed that because if I didn't have that, I just don't know that it would have been that I needed that extra little push. And so sometimes the naysayers originally piss us off almost all the time, right? But the reality is it's almost like I almost like I'm thanking people nowadays when they do that to me because I'm like, oh, okay. And there's a old, there's a clip from Dana White that he always says like, yeah, bet against me. Fucking bet against me and see what happens to you. And I watched that motherfucker do all kinds of crazy shit when I work with the UFC. So it's like I feel the same way. I feel the same way that when people really outwardly hate or come at me that it's like, I'm like, you better pack a fucking lunch because I know how to work and I know how to work and I know how to persevere and I know how to get up and work again. And I will wear you the fuck out into a point where you just give up about fucking talking about me because you're going to get up the next day and the day after that and the day after that. And I'm still fucking here. And then I'm going to get back up when I fall down and I'm going to work back to another. And then I might be just chilling for a while and then I'm going to hit another group, but just know I'm still coming back. So if you're a relentless naysayer and you think you can keep up with me, that's what it's going to take because I keep coming back for more. And that's the thing. And that's what it takes to be successful out here because it's not just this and it's not just this. It's fucking like this all the time. So all of the morning workouts, all of the material that I'm in, all of the shit that I'm trying, it's all, it takes all of it. It takes all of it. It takes all the support all of it to get there. And so once again, you need the naysayers, use them as fuel. Just remember, don't fucking believe them.